responsibility for why your life is great or why it sucks. You can, you can curse the sky, you can blame God, the weather, you have the Democrats, the Republicans, the lawyers, you can blame everybody. But in the end, all that, all that, all that blame doesn't put mac and cheese on the table. Right. right. It's, all on, it's all on me. Right. It's no all on you. Me. Nobody loves you except your mother. Right. Exactly. Right. <laughs> no question about it. So, <laughs> so you've got to make it emotional. You make it emotional by... Gee, do you know what your competition is doing? Curiosity is an emotion. It's a strong emotion. Right. Okay. Next thing is, how about money? Okay. You know, talk, can you talk about, would you, do you need more sales? Suppose we could increase your sales 5%, 10%. Then, how about an incentive? I want to give you a free consultation for 15 minutes with my boss. This is my, and then make a joke again. This is how I get paid. Make it, help me out, will you? This is how, you know, when you say someone to help me, and okay. he's laughing and he's in a good mood. Hey, could you, hey, Mr. Eric, could you help me? My boss pays me to set up appointments. He wants to talk to you for 15 minutes. You don't have to buy anything or make a commitment, but he's got some revolutionary ideas about marketing that'll, that will astound you. You will get some good, even if you don't, and we want to sell you something, of course, we're salespeople. But even if you say no, you might get a few ideas that bring a few people in the, in the door. Can I put you down for Thursday or Friday? Okay, okay, all right. Boom. Just like that. I'm glad I'm recording this. Okay. Just like that. It should, you should be able to close, I would say, in 109, uh, let's see, 6, 12, 180 seconds. 180 seconds. In a good day, you make them laugh. You, you do just what I just did. I just gave okay. you a, a kind of a dialogue. Right. Okay. Okay. With the emotional triggers, with the, with the, um, with the set, you know, the, we did humor, we did incentive, keep, keeping, up, keeping up with the Joneses. Uh, right. Do you know what your competition is doing? That's okay. a good one. I like that one. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Can you grab that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> right, right, right. So. You're more important than them. I appreciate that. Appreciate um, So, okay. So, so the these are, so yeah, I just gave you three things to do. Always end in a question. The guy, and then if the guy, and let's, 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 let's get it real here. What if the guy goes to you, I'm real busy here. Uh, send me something in the mail, okay? I'm really not interested right now. We've got all the things we need. What do you, how are you, you get a lot of that, right? If, I get, if, a, guy say, if a guy says, or I'm, I'm really busy or I'm not interested at this point, I, like, I always say, first thing that comes out of my mouth is, hey, that's great, or I totally understand. So let him. No, kind of, don't understand. Okay. This is your oh, life. You understand. Okay. No, this right. is oxygen. You're going to okay. die if you don't make, you've got to take this, you've got to try something off the wall. So you're not, you know what's your biggest problem? Tell me, because I need okay. it. You promise you won't get mad at me. Of course. People get mad at me sometimes. I'm too nice of a guy. Yeah, you're a nice guy. Stop being, oh. stop being so effing nice. When this, you flip a switch, when you're in sales, I want you to be, uh, go for it. Okay. Like okay. your life depended on it. Okay. Like your children okay. are on the kitchen table with bloated bellies. They're hungry. There's no milk in the refrigerator. You got to make a sale. I'm, I'm, I'm there right now. Right? You, ever listen, you ever listen to Les Brown? I do. I, I listen. I, you got to be hungry was the first. You got to be hungry. Right. Yes. You got to fight for it. So don't be so nice. Now, you give it to me. You give it to me. Get, hit me with that same thing I just said. I'm busy. I'm busy. I don't really need this or gotcha. whatever. Give me well, all hey, that. Well, well, whoever this is, I'm busy right now. I don't really have, We already got our advertising. You know, Eric, I, you know, I appreciate that. My wife said, you know, my wife said the exact same thing, thing to me on, my, on our honeymoon. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Make him laugh. He, wow. he doesn't know how to deal with you. He's never met a character like you. Okay. Okay. What do you got to lose? He's going to throw you off anyway. You're never going to get him again on the phone. When he says, call me later, send me something. What is he saying? Right. So, right. No, he, right. And he's telling you he's right. He's, he's probably not even that busy. He just has, well, first of all, he, he hasn't heard enough for you to catch his interest. Right. And you haven't well, said. He's having a bad day or you're the 10th salesman to call him. Right. And you've got, you've got to have so much fun with this guy. Okay. Okay. okay? So he laughs. If you can laugh. Did you, did you ever see a guy change his personality? So I started out as a mean son of a bitch, and then you say, hey, and then you got him to laugh at something and, it, and right. change the environment. Did you ever see that? It's yes. a skill. Right. Did you ever see John Rickles? 
I know, I know Don Rickles, right. I haven't seen Don him Don Rickles all. said that, he said, she, I mean, today he'd be very politically incorrect, but he used to go on the audience and attack people, make fun of their hair, their hat, right. their size, everything. He made fun of their gender, everything. And, and, then he, and then he'd always fix it, though. He always knew how to, oh, I'm going to do a video. Be Don Rickles. Okay. <laughs> he just gave me an idea. And, and then he'd go, he'd go, you know what, I'm just kidding. You know what, I love people, I love, you know, and everything. And right. then he'd go back and do it again. And <laughs> right. he didn't know how to balance it. And then in the end, he said, God bless all of you. Thanks for putting up with me. You know, we had a lot of fun here. Don't take me seriously. I just want to make you laugh. And, and the audience stood up. They, they loved him. Right. It's creating you know, a little could, bit of fun tension. Uh, yes. At this point. Right. Yes. Okay. We can't, you know, you, you, colleges, comedians have a real problem today. They can't go to these young the college campuses and they can't chris rock can't go to a college campus and do his shit anymore right what just because everybody's so political you can't say anything to Everybody, right everybody's so boo fucking who's sensitive you know right right right, <laughs> right. well that's and and, 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 and and like i said with these guys like i said it's, it's going to be a up and down but you're right i go in i let them oh i'm, I'm too busy right now but then every time my, my response most of the time quoted just so serious well, hey, you know, 90%, 5% of my clients said the same things, but it's still that still salesman pattern instead of breaking into something that's, that's kind of humorous. And, and that's He doesn't know how to deal with a guy who says crazy clawed shit. Okay. Right. He doesn't know. You make him laugh. At least when he hangs up the phone or he says no way or everything, and he gets off the phone, the most important person in the room is Eric because Eric has to make another phone call to put mac and cheese on the table. And if Eric is dissed all day long, you can't, man, when you're getting dumped on all day long, you can't make phone calls. I won't make phone calls if I'm getting dumped on. We're human beings. Right, I got you. We gotta feel good about ourselves. You know, I'm the only guy, this is very controversial. I'm the only sales trainer that I am aware of that says that the salesman comes first. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I've looked at a lot of stuff. I don't see too many people that say that at all. I say it. Why do I say that? Because you're what you're an honest, hardworking man. You just want to pay your bills, help your family. You're not there. You're selling a good quality product to help people. Aren't you're entitled to get paid, right? Not to, not to kiss that guy's ass and let him waste your God given life. Exactly. This is exactly. opinion. You can disagree with anything I say, right? But I, this is how I fight for it. And I've got to put, I got to make you so confident. Maybe even a little arrogant. So what? Okay. You know, you're still a good guy. When it's all said and done, and the phone is done, and it's five thirty, and you got a martini in your hand, you go back to being nice, Eric, again. That's okay. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Say your prayers. Just... You kiss your children. You hug your wife. Everything's fine in the world again. But when you go on the phone, you've got to learn to kill. Got to learn to kill it. Okay. And I don't I'm mean not... kill it. I don't mean literally kill. No, no. I I, I understand. I understand. Well, even my boss, we had an appointment set up for a guy. He was supposed to go fly to sea this week. And he said, the guy didn't confirm the appointment. I said, what do you want me to do? He goes, nothing. He says, we're not chasing him. He said, I don't have to. He says, call him up. Call him up and say, what happened? First oh, thing I, you I, say on the phone. Hey, Eric, Claude here. What happened? Who is right. this? Well, yeah, you know what? I got in trouble with my boss today because the, my assistant set up an appointment with you and then he, he went there and nobody was there. Or nobody confirmed the appointment, man. This was, this was, oh man, did I get in bad trouble and everything. Can you help me out? Right. Okay. All right. All Fight right. for it. Okay. Because he's, telling me, don't, he's telling me don't call him. He's like, we don't chase. He says, he said, what we've got is so good. He goes, they miss, they miss with me. He goes, I don't chase them. He says, oh, I, I don't chase them. I chase people all the time because they okay. do people. Did you ever change your mind? Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I change my mind all the time. What's the one thing another salesman respects? Another salesman. A good salesman. A good salesman. A good but salesman. Well, these guys you're talking to, do you think a, a, a significant point, tell me if I'm wrong. I don't know that your business as well as you do. Right. A significant portion of them started out on the sales floor. Of course they did. Selling cars. Mm. Yes. Hit that chord. It's right here. They, what's the one thing those guys would love? Let's do a role play. And again, you got to, no, you do it this time though. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tell, I'm going to get rid of you and everything like that. You got to say, Hey, come on, come on. As one salesman to another, you understand what I'm doing right now. Give me 15 minutes. Make me a hero to my boss. Okay. Because this will actually help you. And if you okay. don't like what he says, you can fire him. You can hang up on the phone. It's okay. 
Okay. I, go ahead. Call. Hey, Eric, you sound like a good guy, but I'm really busy. I'm swamped here. This is our busiest day. Look, send me something. Email me something or something. I got to really go, buddy. Okay? Hey, well, Claude, I definitely get... I, I know, I know. I really got to go, though. No, I, know, I know you do. But here, here, I'm on the phone with you for one reason. I make these calls once or twice a day to certain people in certain markets, and you're getting that phone call because I've looked at your market. There's something there for you. Do I, go back to it. Go do what I said in the very beginning. Don't waste time. Just go for it. I'm a salesman. Hey, look, weren't you a salesman on the sales floor at one time? Go for it. Okay, okay. Skip, All right, cool. yeah. I'm trying, and I'm not trying to be overcritical, but you got yeah. seconds with this guy. He's ready to hang up. Okay. This is where I'm missing it. This is where I'm, this is good though. Okay. You've got seconds, microseconds. Okay. okay. You've got to go to him and say, look, you were, weren't you a salesman once in your life on that sales floor? Do you know what I'm going through right now? Boom. Yeah. Hit a chord with the guy. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Eric, Eric, man, you're a good guy. I got to go, buddy. Uh, I'm swamped here. You know, call me another, call me next Saturday or something. Okay. Claude, I got to go. Okay. Bye-bye. Claude, I guarantee you started on the sales floor just like me, right? Yeah, I was on the so sales floor for 15 years, man. You know, so you know what this is like better than anyone. You know what this is like. I'm, at, I'm out here trying to do, uh, ah, I keep, see, I, this is going back to me again. Um, see, this, I've got to, this is where I got to learn it. This is probably where I'm losing them. This is yeah, where I'm you're, losing. You're, you're doing what a lot of, you know what's the trouble with salesmen? And I'm guilty of this too. We talk too friggin' much. much. We, much. Less, less can be more. This is funny coming from me. I'm waiting for a fault to like <laughs> 